Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another children's message. My name is Lauren. I am the Children's and Youth Ministries Director at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Everett, Washington. I'm so glad that you could join me this morning. Today is Christ the King Sunday, so we are going to be talking about Jesus as our King. Get the kids, get a comfy seat and hang out with me for the next few minutes, and let's talk. Since today is Christ the King Sunday, I'm going to tell you a story about a backward king. So, a long, long time ago, there lived a king. He was no ordinary king, he was a backward king. He was very different from all other kings because he did everything backward, backward from the way all other kings did them. From the very day he was born, you could tell that he was going to be a very different kind of king. Most kings are usually born in luxury, in a palace. But this king was born in a stable surrounded by barnyard animals like donkeys and sheep and cows. It wasn't a very big beginning for a king. In fact, very few people even knew that he had been born. Only a handful of shepherds and three wise men got the word that a king had come into the world. As this infant king grew into a man, he continued to be different from all other kings. While most kings spent all of their time building up riches of silver, gold, and jewels, this king didn't own anything, really. And while most kings surrounded themselves with servants, he chose to serve others. He could often be found helping other people. As time went on, people became pretty unhappy with their king because he just didn't act the way they thought a king should act. Instead of riding into town on a big, fancy white horse the way other kings usually did, their king rode into town on the back of a donkey or a young colt. Was that any way for a king to act? Not really. And the people he chose to be his friends, oh my goodness. His closest friends were a bunch of smelly fishermen, and he could often be seen visiting the poor and eating with sinners, people who did bad things pretty backward. Finally, the people decided that they had put up with this king long enough. If he couldn't act the way a king should act, then they didn't want him to be their king anymore. They made a plan to have him arrested and thrown into prison. And it worked. When the day came for his trial, the king stood before the people, and instead of shouting, hail to the king, long live the king, like you hear in fairy tales and such, they, sat, they shouted, crucify him. He's not our king. Crucify him. So they crucified the king. They nailed him to a cross. They put a crown made of thorns on his head, not of gold. They poked him with, sh with sticks and made fun of him. What a way for a king to die. After he was crucified, they took his body and put it in a borrowed tomb. He didn't even get his own tomb. Wait, that's not the end of the story, though. Remember, this backward king was very different. This king rose from the grave to live forever. Now, instead of being the backward king, he's the forever king. He's the king to anyone who chooses him to be their king. There are still some people that call him king backward, but those who know him don't call him that. They call him King Jesus. Of course I'm talking about Jesus, right? On this Christ the King Sunday, Jesus wants to be your king too. And if you choose him to be your king, you will live happily forever and forever after. Like a fairy tale, but real. Pretty cool, right? Uh, let's pray and then we'll move on. Hold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads with me. Dear Jesus, today we crown you king and lord over all of our lives. We pray that we'll do that today, tomorrow, going forward for the rest of our lives. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right, as usual, I've got a coloring page for you guys. So here's today's, and it's a depiction of two very different kings. We have um, one of the Roman kings, Herod, um, and then we have baby Jesus, King Jesus, being born in a stable, Herod living in luxury in a pa castle, and then um, there's 
baby Jesus born in a stable. So you can find this linked in the video description box below so you can download, print that off, and color that at home if you would like to. That's available to you. Don't forget to check out our online virtual worship where you can catch Pastor Gibbs' sermon on there. That's live streamed every Sunday morning. Uh, we flip-flop between going uh, traditional at 8.30 or contemporary at 10.30, so you just got to check the website ahead of time to see. Um, but it also gets posted on our Facebook page along with this video every Sunday morning, and it goes live about five minutes before the half hour. So don't forget to check on there if you haven't already to see that. Well, I think that's all I've got for you. Let's close in prayer and I'll let you go enjoy the rest of your Christ the King Sunday. Hold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads with me. Dear God, help us to remember each and every day that Jesus is Lord and King over, our, over all of our lives. Help us to remember what kind of King he is. It might seem a little backward, but he is King and he is King in the best way possible. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. All right, that's all I've got for you. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.